Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, I'll show you how to create a useful animated slide graphic in PowerPoint, which is used in many situations, like in performance review, service quality, etc. The beautiful animated graphic you will learn to create today looks like this. Here we talk about five conditions for five-star rating. So if you have to achieve a five-star rating, then what are the five conditions you need to satisfy? You could always present this information as a boring list of bullet points, but this way is definitely going to capture your viewer's attention. On a click, we talk about the first condition for five-star rating. Once we finish our explanation, we click and we bring the viewer's attention to the next point for five-star rating, and then we go to the third condition for five-star rating, to the fourth one, and to the fifth one. It's a very beautiful animation. It takes the underlying idea of five-star rating, which is normally used in any performance review these days. Even electrical appliances are given five-star rating. You have five-star rating for service industry. So there are so many uses for this simple animated graphic. Let us see how to create this graphic from scratch. The first step is to draw the star graphic. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From stars and banners, you can pick up this star five points. So click on that, hold the shift button down as you draw a star like this. Now you can see that these wedges are a bit too sharp. So I'm going to use this yellow handle and push it to outside like this so that we have a star that is more to our liking. Then let us add some bevel so that it looks even more punchy. So let me right click, go to format shape, go to effects option, then go to 3D format and let us apply bevel. So we are going to use this bevel called as round one, which is the first one. And then for width for the top bevel, we will use 150. And for height, let us use 150. And you have a beautiful looking star graphic here. Let us close this. If you want, you can always change the color. I'm just going to retain it the way it is then we need to show something that brings the viewer's attention to the point of focus. So let us go to home, go to circle, hold the shift button down and draw a circular shape like so. This is the point that we will draw the viewer's attention to. Then let us give this yellow color. So let us go to shape fill, use this yellow color, go to shape effects, go to preset and use the second preset called as preset two. Now that looks beautiful. And to give it a little more presence, let us go to shape effects, go to glow and let us use a much wider glow like this one, glow 18 point. Now that looks good. I don't really like the green glow. So let me go to right click format shape and let me change the glow color by going to effects option glow. And here you can see the color. Let us use yellow color like so. Now this looks more to my liking. The next step is to write our labels for each of these corners. So let us go to the previous slide. I'm just going to copy this. I created this using nothing but simple text boxes. So let me save some time by using these elements from the previous slide. So we are going to place it exactly in the right position. The next step is to create the animation that draws the viewer's attention from one point to the next. First, let us introduce this yellow ball. So I'm going to select this ball here. Go to animations, go to animations pane so you can see what exactly I'm doing here. Then let me use a simple zoom animation to insert it. So that is how it enters the scene. And right after that, we have this text animated with wipe animation after previous from left. So this is the animation sequence. If I go here, it enters and then we have this label. Then let us move this yellow orb from here to here. So let us select this yellow orb, go to add animation and let us choose motion paths and let us choose custom path in the motion path animation. Let us click on the center here and then you can click on this corner here. You can see this portion and then click on the edge here once again and you can see that this is how the animation happens and the attention shifts from here to here. And we need to have this happening much faster. We will do all those adjustments a bit later. Once it reaches from here to here, then we will have this animation happen from left and this happens after previous. Then 
we need to add one more animation to have it move from here to here. So let us select the orb once again, go to add animation and let us go to motion paths, custom path animation and click right on this red arrow. That is the starting point now. Then let us click on this point, which is the curved point. And then let us go here and double click. So that motion path ends there. So we have attention shifted from here to here. And right after that, you know the drill. It is from left wipe after previous. Once again, we need to continue to do that for the remaining shapes as well. Select the orb, add animation, go to custom path and then click on this. Go here and then double click. And once this is done, we will have this one wipe from right after previous. Once again, the final step, select the orb, go to add animation and then let us go to custom path and let us click on this red and let us finish the motion path animation by double clicking on this. And once this is done, we will have this bit wipe from right after previous. Excellent. Now we have got all the basic animations in place. Now we need to do a bit of adjustment to all these motion path animations. So let us select these motion path animations. To select non-contiguous animation events, you need to use control button. So hold the control button as you select these non-contiguous events. So we've got all these four motion path animations selected. Let us go to effect options. Let us have smooth start, smooth end being nothing. That is, we have reduced it to 0% or 0 seconds. And then let us add a bit of bounce. And we are also going to reduce this to around 0.75 seconds. Now that is a good enough time for this whole thing to look very attractive. So we've got all our animations in place. Now let us see how this whole thing plays when I go to slideshow mode. On a click, I bring the viewer's attention to the first one with a zoom and wipe. Then motion path, wipe, motion path, wipe, motion path, wipe, motion path, wipe. So that is how this beautiful graphic looks. And it's a very simple graphic to create. Of course, as always, if you don't have the time to create such elaborate animations, you can always download these as templates from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle has more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that help you communicate any business concept that you can imagine. Now, let me show you some examples of how you can draw the viewer's attention to individual points with a central framework. Let us see some very interesting examples. All these examples are taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. On a click, you can see we have the central point talked about. And then on a click, we introduce the first point and then the second point. And you see the way in which the animation helps the viewer's attention to focus on the relevant point. Once we finish all the explanation, we can even line up all these elements to one side, like the way that I'm going to show you just now. You can see all these elements are lined up to one side and we have some more explanation given about the central point. If you want to have a variation of this, then we have five sides of an issue shown like this one. We have the central point shown. Then we have the first point shown like this, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one. And once we finish this, then we line up all these elements one after another, and we have a little more explanation given to the central one. Let me show you another example of drawing the viewer's attention to the different parts of your graphic. This is six stages of life cycle graphic. On a click, we bring the viewer's attention to the first stage. Then we shift the attention to the second stage, to the third stage, to the fourth one, to the fifth one, and the sixth one. Finally, you close it by going to stage one. And let us go to the next example. Here we talk about six cornerstones of a concept. On a click, we explain the central one and we draw the viewer's attention to the first object here. Then we move the attention to the next one, to the next one, to the next, next, and to the next one. Now, all these are available to you, ready-made for you to use. You just need to copy paste these slides onto your presentation and replace the sample text with your own text and your professional slide is ready for you to present. That is the reason why I think if you are a busy professional, it is always a smart way to utilize your time. You can spend your time on improving your content rather than waste it on creating graphics from scratch.
I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link, come check out this product, and if you really like this product, you can make a one-time purchase and use it for a lifetime. And the best part is, if you buy our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle now, you will get automatically upgraded to comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle 2.0 as soon as we release it. Finally, if you want to get access to a collection of free mini training courses on PowerPoint that I share only with my email newsletter subscribers, you can click on the link, join our newsletter and get enriched with this useful and practical information. I'll see you in the next video.